The 981 mile long Ohio River is the largest tributary of the Mississippi River. It borders six states and drains into parts of 25 states. It is often known as the western extension of the Mason-Dixon and is quite possibly the most iconic river in the United States, second only to the Mississippi River. The city of Cincinnati is most frequently associated with the Ohio River due to the fact that it is the largest city located on the river itself. Throughout history, the largest and most successful cities have been located and established on rivers such like the Ohio. However, despite all the great benefits of being on a river, there are also many negative aspects to it as well. The chance of flooding is the main risk of being located on the Ohio River. On March 11, 1964, one of the biggest floods in Cincinnati and Ohio River history occurred. From Missouri to Pennsylvania, river towns have been inundated by the rising waters of the Ohio and its tributaries and other rampaging rivers. Kentucky and Ohio have been especially hard hit. There is nothing amusing about this amusement park, Coney Island near Cincinnati. Much of this multi-million dollar center was washed away. Damage throughout the area is already estimated in the millions of dollars. There is some irony in the fact that the nearby racetrack is known as River Downs. At Cincinnati, the crest of the Ohio reached more than 66 feet, 14 feet above flood stage. This is near the record of their worst floods. The governors of several states appealed to the federal government to declare many sections disaster areas. It is estimated that more than 27,000 families were affected by the flood. Susquehanna River drove nearly 10,000 from their homes, and civil defense workers described some towns as completely deserted from the mayor to the town's alley cat. Further south, in Kentucky, there was more of the same. Here, the Ohio crested 19 feet above flood stage, and hundreds of square miles were underwater. As the flood began to recede slowly, there was desolation in its wake. Some 12,000 persons were living in 53 shelters. Most of them had lost everything they owned. As always, modern man finds himself unable to cope with the awesome forces of nature on a rampage. Within the two weeks prior to the flood, the city of Cincinnati experienced 14.49 inches of rain in only two weeks as well as 4.76 inches of rain in only the two days prior. This drastic amount of rainfall in such a short time led to the Ohio River to crest at 66 feet high. This was the sixth highest crest in the river's history. All the riverfront streets were flooded and flooding reached the 1000 block of Griffith Avenue far off the Ohio River. 27,000 families were affected by this flood and well over $200 million worth of damages occurred. Throughout the years, there has been a consistent pattern of floods in the greater Cincinnati area due to the overflowing of the Ohio River. We would be naive to think that more floods like this will not take place in the future and we must be prepared to face them. By listening to weather forecasts and knowing the height of the river at all times, we can predict when these floods may occur so we can evacuate to safe ground whenever need be. Being mindful and precautious of potential floods, however, cannot always prevent them. Sometimes the levees can't even do that. However, if you have flood insurance, you can always protect your house and all your belongings in the case of an accident or a disaster. <laughs>